What's going on guys, it's Brody Kern, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about busy versus productive. So really pay attention when I say this. The difference between active and productive is intention. The difference between active and productive is intention. Many of us think that when we wake up in the morning, we should just automatically be clear about whatever it is that we need to go do. That's just not the case. Getting up and just fucking hustling, going all in, going hard, like working, grind, 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 isn't enough. That is just being fucking busy, and then we all tell ourselves that because we're busy, we're actually getting things done. So many times when clients hire us to work on, let me go back on that. So many times when clients hire us to work on them and their businesses, they come in and they say, Brody, I'm working 12 to 14 hours a day, and when we break it down, they're working six, maybe seven hours, but they think that they're doing a lot more than they actually are, and they're just doing a really bad job of managing their time, right? This is the meaning of busy versus productive. After focusing on this for three years now, I can get more done in a day than most individuals can get done in three days because I'm laser focused about what I'm getting done and how I need to execute that. That is what you need to truly be efficient, right? You need to have your days planned out because guess what? Your competitor who actually has results, they have their entire fucking week planned out to a T. You need to know with time blocks exactly what you were doing between noon and one, exactly what you were doing between two and three, what meetings are on the books today, how many calls you need to make. That leads me into my next topic of tracking the fucking numbers. If you don't know how many calls it's going to take for you to earn the amount of money that you want to make, you are absolutely fucked. You will never ever get there because you'll just be hustling, 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 doing as much as you think is possible. But if you have intention and you know where you're going, it becomes way more attainable. So let's say that you're a coach and a consultant, right? You have a $3,500 product and you want to make quarter million dollars this year in consulting. Well, you need to know that you need to break, like you need to take, okay, quarter million dollars, break it down to the average sale price, how many deals is that, break, how many calls does it take to make a deal, and break that down all the way to the day. How many calls do I need to have scheduled to make a quarter million dollars in coaching this year? How many, you know, outbound messages, how much prospecting do I need to do to schedule the set number of calls? Because if I say, hey, go make a quarter million dollars in coaching this year, go. You're like, okay, how the fuck do I do that? But if I say, hey, reach out to 20 people on Instagram today and ask to get on the phone, way more attainable, and they translate to the same thing. That is super fucking important. Another way to really make sure that you're productive, right? Have your time blocks, but have a strict rule, and I took this from David Meltzer, shout out David Meltzer, is don't ever get on a call longer than five minutes and don't ever take a meeting longer than 20 minutes. He calls it the five and 20 rule. It's very fucking effective. The other thing that you're gonna wanna use is test this out. It's something called the Pomodoro technique. So what the Pomodoro technique is, is you break your day up. You still have your time blocks, right? So let's say I'm doing you know online lead gen, prospecting on Instagram from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., right? Just an example. Uh, what you do is you break those time blocks down into 25 minute intervals of work, okay? And you don't do anything else. You laser focus for 25 minutes. Then you take a five minute break, then you do your next Pomodoro. Then a five minute break, then your next Pomodoro. And then you take a 10 minute break on the third time and restart. But the thing is, like it, when you're trying to do something for two hours straight, it becomes very long. You get distracted. But if you have a timer up and you're only going hard for the next 25 minutes and then you're taking a break, it's super, like it makes you laser focused about that task that you were doing. Pomodoro technique, very, very effective. I've made videos on it before, but it matters. Time blocking matters. Keeping calls and meetings short matters. Say no to shit. Say no to meetings. I don't take fucking lunch because people are just gonna go out and waste my time, right? Whatever they want to get out of lunch, they can send me a fucking email and get the same point across. Like, and everybody thinks that going to, like, I learned this in real estate because I started in real estate. 
Everybody thinks that going to lunch, like if you're a real estate agent, going to lunch with you know, a lender is the right thing to do. Fuck that. You're gonna drive 15 minutes to lunch, you're gonna drive 15 minutes back, there's 30 minutes, you're gonna spend 45 minutes minimum at lunch, you know, there, there's a shit ton of time, and then on top of that, of the 45 minutes that you're talking to the lender, 30 of it, you're only gonna get it like 15 minutes of real conversation done, because you guys are gonna small, chit chat and bullshit and do whatever the fuck lenders and real estate agents do and waste a ton of fucking time when you could have had a five minute call that says, oh yeah, you wanna work together, refer some people over, cool, right? I understand that you need to build relationships, but do that in another fucking way. Don't take lunch every day unless someone is directly going to make you money now because you could have been spending that time lead generating, could have been spending that time closing deals. You could have been spending that time doing things that actually move the fucking needle forward. That is everything. If you do not know with complete certainty that in action, when you're planning out your days, right? Because after this video, you're gonna start planning out your days, right? The night before, when you're planning them out the night before, if you don't know with complete certainty that a task is not moving you towards your end goal, throw it away, right? Literally cross that fucking thing off. It does not matter at all. And the reason that you plan the night before, to go back to that, the reason that you plan the night before is because the brain only has a finite amount of decision-making power each day. So you don't want to get up and waste a bunch of killer brain power on deciding what you're going to do that day and when you're going to do it. Do it at the end of the night. If you guys take these few things that I've talked about, this is more of like a, you know, I was all over the place in this video, but if you guys take these things, you'll be drastically more efficient, like extremely productive. So go back, watch it again, take some notes, implement the shit in your life. And if you like this video, when you implement it, tag me, tag me on Instagram, right? Let me know that you're doing it. Reach out to me if you need help on exactly how to structure the most productive day for you. And then go from there, right? Subscribe to the channel, share the video. I will keep dropping super fucking valuable content for you.